I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play The Wandering Village. This game was given to me as a review copy, and is going to be part of my six-pack series, because while it's now officially released, it's still in early access, so it's playable, but it's not the full game yet, I feel. Um, it's basically a city builder game with a little bit of random survival in it. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and start. We'll start out as Adept. Adept is basically the same as Novice, but without the tutorial at the beginning. And uh, they label that as LP. Uh, custom difficulty is basically just a few options to make it easier or harder. I imagine they'll add even more options to that for like Iron Man difficulty or something later. Let's begin. Driven from our homes by the toxic spores, we kept wandering, looking for shelter. But not in our wildest dreams did we imagine what we would find. Alright. A little bit of a loading screen there, and here we are. So, we are 16 settlers leaving uh, for the new lands, I guess, trying to escape uh, poisonous spores that are now covering the planet, um, riding upon the back of a giant beast called an Umbu. And the beast wanders the world along these pathways. And we've unfortunately started out in one of three biomes. This is the cold biome, which is going to make it hard for growing food. That's actually going to be really problematic for me. So the first thing we want to do uh, is find a good location to begin with that will be sustainable because as you can tell here uh, we're very limited in our resources. So uh, what we're looking at here are berry bushes for early food and because it's going to be hard for me to grow food for a while probably will be uh, sustaining most of my food. This would actually be a good place. We're also looking for wood, uh, which is all over the place and has these stumps that provide lots of resources, but we won't be able to get until later uh, with technology. And we're also looking for a lot of stone, which also has these stone, well, I guess boulders. Uh, same thing, we'll need technology to unlock it. And then they've got these ombu spikes, which provide stone, but as it says here, it reduces ombu trust. So basically, ombu trust allows us to direct the ombu along the pathways here because there will be crossroads and whatnot uh, that we need to make decisions upon and we want that because the ombu has needs primarily it has sleepiness and hunger it'll also have a poison meter and the big thing here is that we need to keep the ombu alive just as much as we need to keep the village alive otherwise uh, it's game over so we'll see things along the pathway like uh, Unfortunately, there's nothing around here now, but there'll be like mushroom patches for the ombu to eat from. There'll be some flower patches it can lay down in, and uh, we want to direct it away from like storms and uh, poison clouds and stuff like that. Um, we also have all these little locations out here that we will eventually be able to go and explore. Uh, we're going to have to unlock that. We will also be able to unlock the ability to grow food on the ombu and then feed it the food there to keep it alive. But our first thing we need to do right now is find a settlement location. Which I guess could be here. Since we got a stone field here, it's not a lot of stone though. It would ultimately be better to be over here. But the thing is, when we want to do the ombu constructions, they're going to need to be closer to its head uh, to feed it, unfortunately. So I guess we can start a settlement over here and then maybe make another one over here. Uh, okay, so first thing we got to do is, well, I'll show you. Uh, if we come up here, we can see our population details. And we see here that we have 16 people with no housing. And below that, we see the needs of the people. Right now, they're looking at housing quality. They have no housing, which means that their productivity is taking a 25% penalty. Uh, so that's the first thing we need to work on there. Also, we're seeing here the number of people as well as the number idle. Uh, so we can see employed and unemployed here. Um, unemployed do not count as idle because they are automatically put into the category of general workers. So as long as they're actually doing something, they will not count as idle. So this number doesn't 
really mean anything. Actually, it's better to open up the tab and actually see what's going on here. Um, anyway, first thing we need to do, build some homes. We're going to need to build eight because the tent provides for two people. So, we probably want a good central location um, because there are roads here and travel distance does matter. So I guess we'll just set up right here. And if I click over the trees, they will produce these little balloons here, uh, indicating that they need to be chopped down first. We do have some supplies we start out with here. That'll be the first constructions. Also going to need some stone, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to mark, harvest some early stone. I'm going to be idle early. Okay, well, while the rest of them are working on that, I'm going to pause for a moment and we're going to work on some berry gathering. We're going to need food. So, that's actually pretty good right there. Um, we see the efficiency of it. If I harvest these berry bushes uh, manually, they disappear forever. So it's good to not destroy them, but you also want as much efficiency as you can. So we're going to destroy two berry bushes here, and as well as some of these tree saplings, but I think that's probably the best way to maximize that. So we'll have that going. And then I think I'll go ahead and also start a road. Just a nice little connection there. It'll eat a bunch of these little tree saplings here. That'll be some early wood. Now, right now they're just leaving stuff on the ground. We're going to want to have a store yard for that later. What are they waiting on? They're waiting on wood and stone. So we probably actually just want to go ahead and start deforesting this area just a bit to get these idle people actually doing something. Because while this is all cutesy and uh, the animations are really nice and the art for the buildings is really cool, um, it's not really a relaxing game. Uh, you actually do have, uh, well, a little bit of a little bit of randomness, a little bit of problems coming in. Um, I guess we're sleeping right now. That's why we're not moving. But, uh, you know, we, we, we have to make decisions because the, the faster we make our settlement built up, uh, the more prepared we are for actual survival later on. So, speaking of that, we need to start researching some new technologies, because we can't just survive on uh, just the berries and, and collecting basic materials. So we need more wood and more stone. You can see up here our supply of each, so let's actually go ahead and chop out some new wood there. So we do have a finite land area, but the resources do replenish over time. Um, trees will grow, as we can see with the little saplings and whatnot, but there will eventually be mother trees that pop up, like this one right here. And uh, I believe that helps to grow forests. Also, the stones will replenish inexplicably. I don't know how that happens again. I guess they are pushed up through the, uh, the Ombu's body, something like that. Are they going to work towards making that, or what? A lot of people are just standing around. Okay, let's find something else for them to do then. Well, uh, we can begin by doing like a manual storage yard. Uh, or a pantry for, to collect food early on. We do that. Basically all that's going to do is increase the maximum amount of food that I can store. Okay, so we got two recommended uh, researches here. We can also open the tree. Um, the kitchen is probably the first one we're going to do, just because it opens a lot of stuff early on that we will want, specifically scavenger hunt, hut, excuse me, which will allow us to do scavenger hunts on the map, and then doctor. This will help us against poison. We might or might not find that early, but we're also going to want to focus on extra bits of uh, of uh, crops that we can we can grow because these will grow in different types of weather or biomes I guess I should say uh, resources we don't need to worry about yet and ombu so we could go down hornblower that's the next one 
and this is the one that would allow us to tell the Ombu which direction to go. Thing is, you have a very low chance of this working, I think, until you start feeding it. And we're not there yet, so I think the first one I will go down is uh, this kitchen here. So, I guess we should also probably work on our food. If we see here our food situation, we're consuming a lot more than we're producing. So we need an actual farm. I'll just go ahead and put that right there. And we're low on wood again. So let's get people chopping down the trees. Clear that out. We're probably going to have to supplement this, since it is cold, um, with another berry. I, I, you know what? That's actually what I should be doing. Let's put a pause on that for now. Let's get another berry gatherer. 58%. 63%. Yeah, right there, I guess. Uh, just because the farm is good for making lots of food, but it's not really good for the current biome that we're in. You know, I guess I could have also moved that forward just a bit. Let me see. So it, nothing's being built yet, so if I cancel this, I won't waste any resources. This was 63. That's 49. Okay, it, it is actually better there. All right, that's fine. We will uh, prioritize that. coming here and grabbing the food that they're bringing to the pantry by the look of it. But I think perhaps for expediency I will also have them do a material storage. Um, right there I guess. And that will help them gather all the stuff that they're sort of leaving around the place on the floor. I may as well just do all of it. But uh, while I've got all this selected it's creating a lot of choices for them to go and pick up. So what I can do is I can hit this priority tool here and just say, hey, I want those grabbed immediately. What are we missing here? Yeah, we're only missing stone. And then eventually we'll grab all the trees as well. Day two, the Umbu is walking. All right, so I'm gonna speed this up. And uh, let's see, we haven't even taken off yet, so we wasted one day sitting there, which is really bad because I'd really love to get out of this biome. We can kind of see what's coming up, but it looks like we're going to be in this biome for quite some time. Okay, so we've still got 10 people unemployed, that's good. Uh, I guess we can get them on the farm now. Worrying about that. We should also probably get an air well going. The air well will allow us to collect water, which is necessary for the farms. Build two of those there. We're going to need a lot more resources. Prioritize these ones, please. So another reason we want to have multiple sources of food, aside from the fact that, that they will grow better in certain uh, biomes, is that your people at a certain point will start needing food diversity. Because of... Uh, let's go with scavenger hunt. Um, because of, of their desire for better food and better living conditions. Alright, so we've got this going here. Uh, I'm going to put down... So, I'm not quite sure what the, the ratio is, but it seems to me that five tiles per person is a pretty good setup, um, because otherwise it just doesn't get worked. So I'm going to do that. Let's also add another person. And that's going to leave us a few more. Um, so, in order to make the doctor be effective, we need to find an herbalist. Which I guess I can put here as well. I'm eating into any 
potential future. Well, that's not true. I can I can grow over here. Uh, potential future future crop plots. So I'll go ahead and put that down here too. I'll need stone. Yeah. See, this is why it probably would have been better if I had actually gone over to the other uh, plot because there's way more stone to collect. We're also going to need wood. And we're going to have to start thinking about... Okay, good. Never mind. It, it's coming up on something it can eat from and a place to sleep. That'll be good. Um, but eventually we're going to have to focus to producing like a mushroom farm. And that will allow me to uh, grow food for it. It's not really a, a, an immediate priority though. Let's also put down a water tank. Because these are filling up fast now that we're in normal humidity. But if we get to a desert or something, we're going to want tanks. We're going to have lots of problems with water. Which is going to just cascade because we will have issues growing food and then that compounds into you can't do this or that to the other thing. And Mushrooms along the way here. Hopefully it'll stop and eat. I don't know if it's going to. I think it did. This didn't, uh, this didn't go down. So that's another reason we kind of need to tell the Ombu to stop and rest and whatnot. Um, so yeah, that's not great. We're now normal, but we're in cold temperature here. So you can see right here the temperature, uh, because it's so cold, is causing a 60% growth. That's not good. Also, it doesn't seem to be transporting water. Okay, now they are. Good. And a weather condition, fresh air, free from toxins. That's good. And okay. Now it's resting here anyway. Let's do... ah boy. Now that we've got an herbalist going... I really don't think we're going to be able to do anything with this until I start growing some mushrooms. And we're starting to run out of people, which is an issue. But let's go ahead and do this one. And we can do a scavenger hut. We're going to want this one early, and I'm going to put this one... Uh, I guess over here somewhere. Um, so you can see that I'm, I'm limited in where I can place this. So we want to get it, I guess, as close to the edge as possible here. We'll run a road. Roads aren't necessary, they just make your people move faster. And your scavengers will bring back materials, so allowing them to run it to one of our storage yards faster is uh, probably a good idea. Seems like we were... We are perhaps running into a storage issue here. Okay. Well, I guess that means we want more. Let's make a pantry. Oh, right there. Fits nice. So this is going to require... Oops. Whoop, wood, planks, and stone slabs. So that's something we're going to have to manufacture. And comes out of these. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I guess. If I'd moved that over, I would have had a nicer slot to put this into. I guess it doesn't matter. Now let's put uh, let's put the wood here, the stone cutter here. Gives me a little bit of space for some stuff. Uh, yeah, we're still on our our basic um, batch of people. Okay, here's our crossroad. Uh, I thought we were going to meet some nomads. The nomads must have wandered out of the path, though, which is unfortunate. Getting some early people in would have been nice. Oh, right. We need herbs, which are not going to grow very well, but we need them anyway. You know, I could probably handle less of those, actually. Right now...
probably, I, I don't know, I, I feel like I should have started these earlier, but at the same time, uh, it takes a lot to get the, the necessary resources for them. In fact, we're out of materials for each of them. Um, so, you know, it, it takes a while for them to make the stone slabs and the planks that we need, so getting them built early would be nice, but at the same time, you know, there are bigger priorities, so I don't I don't yet know what a good strategy for uh, playing this game is, but with getting these things done in in what order and whatnot. Um, the the fact that there is the random element to it, uh, I feel like also has a big impact on decisions, because if we were actually starting out in a nice grasslands biome. We wouldn't be worrying about our food situation, so I could have one less berry bush uh, collector right now. Um, you know, I'd, I'd probably be okay with two farmers instead of three, because I wouldn't need to, to have them out in the fields so often. And uh, this distance, this distance is killing me. This is actually a very poor idea. I could do these spikes, but we're already hard up as it is trying to get this guy to uh, to listen to my commands when we get there. I could do a mycologist right now, but I, I really want some more people. Having having a good balance of workers? Good, good, good. Oh good, and he, he went into the nice biome. Okay, we're now in normal temperatures, now everything is 100%. Looks like he has stopped here to eat. Okay, good. He's made a good decision. Let's see if we can get that built. I guess I need to tell them to chop down some wood. And once some people come in, that'll also help. Okay, let's go with the village doctor now. Because I never know. Uh, what the, the bad thing about the grass biomes is that they are also prone to be where you find the poison uh, areas and, and poison clouds and, and stuff like that. So, we'll get some more people here. How many more people? Probably two or three. It's, it's usually not that much. So, but what we also have to pay attention to is the total number of people. Because as they come, we're going to need houses for them, but when we get to certain population levels, and I think the next one is 20, their needs will go up. They won't be happy just munching on beets and turnips and berries and stuff. They're going to actually want food. So that means another building, and then you've got more, and here we go. We will pick them up. And sometimes they're ill, uh, at least in the tutorial. Uh, the first villagers you get are sick, so it kind of forces you to make the, the doctor's hut and all that. And we now have the horn blower. We, we really need to start cutting down more material here. Let's get that prioritized. I got a, enough stone for now, I think. I, I'll build the horn blower. So the horn blower, like I said, has to be near the head, uh, as do, I think, the catapult. And I'm sure there's an, another building at some point. Uh, we'll put it right here. We'll just go ahead and disable that for now, so it's ignored, because I really want this. Once we start getting this thing built, uh, we'll be able to actually go out and collect goods, and the uh, sparsity of resources will be a little less painful. I'll also build a road here so that they can get to the uh, material. Uh-oh, what do we got here? Oh, it's full. It's full of water. So why don't we go ahead and build another water tank? Oh boy. It's just more materials that I'm consuming to build the things to collect the materials, and around and around it goes. Alright, it's going to take a while for these things to convert. In fact, it'd be a, probably a better idea. Alright, we'll take two more people and convert them into this, because it, it's we need that to go fast. It's going to be a thing. Alright, so the ombu kitchen would allow me to make the mushrooms into ombu food, um, but I think I want to make 
the cactus plantation. Let's look at what's coming up here. Get that out of the way. Okay, so we're coming up on a crossroads here, and if it moves this way, we're going into desert. So it's probably a good idea, actually, to start growing uh, cactus and corn, because we'll do better in those biomes. And, okay. Now that's getting built out anything else. We're running out of stone again. Wood planks, we just, I really need them to, to focus on chopping down all these trees. <sighs> okay, well, I think I've got the basic setup. At least people are not starving. And uh, we do need some houses, so that's another thing I need to pluck down here. I'll go ahead and do that. And I guess I could prioritize those first because, I mean, it's only a 3% productivity dip, but I don't know what that translates to. Like, I don't know how much faster things would go if it's 100% versus just 97. So, it might be a good idea. Let's see, what are these? Okay, those are prioritized to level 2. Can I prioritize? There we go, prioritize to level 2. So they'll chop those down faster, but then they'll make these ones next. Okay. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end this one here, and uh, we'll head on the next episode next time.